Hey, warm welcome to you all. Today we will see about K-medoid clustering algorithm. K-medoid is a partitioning clustering algorithm similar to K-means cluster algorithm. But instead of taking mean, here we are going to take medoid. Medoids are the most centrally located points in a cluster and they minimize the dissimilarity to all the other points in a cluster. Algorithm is defined as follows. Our initialization. Here we have to select k data points as medoids. Number two, we have to assign the data point to the nearest medoid with the help of Euclidean distance. Number three, updation. So for each cluster, we have to update the data point so it minimizes the dissimilarity among all other data points in a cluster. Step number four is we have to repeat step two and three until the convergence is obtained, which means that the midoid which we selected should be in a static manner. Let us see in detail. K medias clustering. A medias is normally defined as a point that is located in a cluster and it minimizes the similarities among all other points that is located in a cluster. So this type of similarity is calculated with the help of E equal to modulation of PA minus CA. Here this PA represents the object point and this CA represents the midoid point. K medias is generally a clustering algorithm. It is similar to that of K means algorithm but instead of finding mean here we are going to find midoid. Normally midoids are centrally located point in a cluster. They help to minimize the dissimilarity to all other points that is located in the cluster. So these are the algorithm. First one is that we have to initialize the k data points. So after initialization we have to assign those data point to the nearest midoid with the help of Euclidean distance or some distance metric measurement. The point is updation. So we have to select the data point which minimize the dissimilarities among all other points in the cluster. In step 4 we have to repeat step 2 and step 3 until we can get a static media. Example here points are from 0 to 9 and they are represented in X and Y. Here we have select 2 points 8 and 5 and 4 and 5. Plot the graph for the data point. The algorithm. First we have to randomly select 2 midoids. Here we are selecting this 8 5 as one of the midoid and 4 5 as one of the midoid. Then in these two columns we have to find out dissimilarity from C1 which is this 4 comma 5 and dissimilarity from C2. You look at this point you have to compare these XY points with this midoid C1 and midoid C2. Now consider this point 8 comma 7. We have to minus this 8 comma 7 with this 4 comma 5. 8 minus 4 that is equal to 4 then 7 minus 5 that is equal to 2. So 4 plus 2 is 6. This is how this 6 value comes here. Similarity from C2. To compare this 8 comma 7 with this 8 comma 5. Now 8 minus 8 is 0 plus 7 minus 5 is 2. So 0 plus 2 is 2. So this is the dissimilarity from C2. Likewise you have to fill this column and fill this column. With the help of the Manhattan distance formula we calculate the matrices between midoid and non midoid points. So this is the formula that we used x1 minus x2 plus oi1 minus oi2. Assign each point to the cluster of that midoid so that the dissimilarity becomes minimum. Comparing the table 
from the dissimilarity from C1 and dissimilarity from C2 table, we have to find out the minimum values. So, from the table, points 1, 2, 5, that now belongs to the cluster C1, which is the midoid C1. Then, the points 0, 3, 6, 7, 8, it goes to the midoid C2. We have to add the dissimilarity from C1 and dissimilarity from C2 now. So, this for 1, 2, 5, the dissimilarity from C1 is 3, 4 and 4. So, 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus this is the dissimilarity from C2. So, these are the nearest values. So, for 0, 3, 6, 7, 8, it belongs to the midite C2. So, the dissimilarity values are given as 3, 1, 1, 2, 2. Okay. So, we have to sum up all the values. Gives the value of cost. In step 3, again, we have to select one non midoid point and we have to recalculate the cost once again. So, C1 is now chosen as 4,5 and C2 as 8,4. Now, we have to again calculate this table once. Now, the C1 is 4,5, C2 is 8,4. The same procedure. Now, consider the point 8,7, 8 minus 4, that is 4, then 7 minus 5, 2. So, 4 plus 2 is 6. Okay. Now, the similarity from C2. The same point, 8,7, 8 minus 8 is 0, 7 minus 4 is 3. So, 0 plus 3, 3. Likewise, you have to complete all the points. So, after completing table, now we have to find the cost again. That is a new cost value. After finding the dissimilarities, when the value is minimum, we have to assign them to that particular midoid. So, 1, 2, 5 goes to that midoid C1 and 0, 3, 6, 7, 8 go to midoid C2. Now, find the new cost. The new cost is 22. So, the previous one is 20. Now, the new cost is somewhat greater than this new cost value. So, we have to finalize the previous one is the best. So, 4,5 and 8,5 are the final midites. So, the time complexity of this algorithm is given as follows. Plot of the graph and the cluster is formed. So, this is that K media cluster algorithm. I hope everyone understands the concept. Meet you in the next video. Till then, it's goodbye from Vijay. Kindly like, share and subscribe the channel.